Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me. We as a family are the family that three and a half years ago sold literally everything they own, their house, their companies, their cars, their bikes, everything and went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante, Spain. Today I will film the house and the places we are sleeping in as a family while I talk to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you the bearish scenario. I'm going to show you the bullish scenario. I'm going to show you, I think, seven really cool charts that are an indicator for what is going to happen with bitcoin next we are going to talk about the south korean banks we are going to talk about bitcoin mining in iran we are going to talk about binance us being down we are going to talk about the shit coins club in germany and of course i will end this video with a beautiful sextortion scandal inside my bedroom in this camper van enjoy today's video guys Hi guys, let's jump into another beautiful place here in Alicante, Spain. Whoop. Wow, where am I? At the moment I am just up front of the driveway of the house where we are staying during our stay near Alicante. I decided this morning to talk to you about blockchain, Bitcoin and life while I walk you through this beautiful house where we are staying and show you how we as a family are living now here. I will show you that we are sleeping in a camper van, the kids are, have their own rooms and all that stuff. I will show you the house and the gardens while I'll talk to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. First, let's talk about Bitcoin, guys. I'm wearing a cap because that says huddle. I'm wearing a t-shirt because it says run BTC. Do you like the t-shirt? You can buy these shirts and these caps on our website. Let's talk Bitcoin. Did you shock yesterday when Bitcoin dropped to 11,200? Did you freak out or did you, like I always say, zoom out? Because we bounced back to 11,600 again and we are hovering around that level of $11,600 now. Like I said in yesterday's video, it is very important that we close this weekly candle tomorrow on Sunday above 11,500. If we close the weekly candle above 11,500, it's a very bullish bullish sign for Bitcoin and we are still following the beautiful uptrend of the stock to flow market that will bring us to 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin in the next bull run. But because I'm always bullish guys let's look at the bearish scenario as well because I don't want to be only a bull I also want to show you guys that I understand that we can see a small dip in Bitcoin as well. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart a trader shared with us how he thinks the Bitcoin price will evolve in the next couple of weeks as you can see we will retest the 12k region then take it all the way down maybe even to the lower 10k region maybe even to to fill the cme gap we have been talking about in a few videos as well that's around 9700 US dollar before we go back above 10k 12k and then even maybe to 13k in the near future this is the bearish scenario short term but if you zoom out you can see that also this scenario ends up above 12k why is he thinking this because if you take a look at this chart bam this chart is a little bit more zoomed out you can see multiple years and you can see that the 12k resistance line has been a huge resistance for a couple of years already every time we tested the 12k us dollar price in bitcoin we saw a rejection and we fell down a couple of percent maybe even 20 percent or 30 percent but many times when we tried to break the 12k we pulled back in the bitcoin price so this trader is thinking that if we would test 12k again we get a pullback and we can get a pullback of maybe even 20 percent to 10k or something near that area but in my opinion no reason to freak out but you always need to zoom out why would you sell at the beginning of this huge bull run we will see in the next two years that is exactly why i love this tweet of the crypto lark this tweet bam you can see on this tweet what he is saying as well 
why would you sell Bitcoin at this 13% correction if we saw multiple 30 to 40% corrections in the last bull run? If you take a look at this chart, bam, this one, you can see that in the last bull run, 2016 to 2018, many times we saw a huge correction of 30 to 40%. But if you zoom out on the chart, you can see we still went up even till 20k US dollar in Bitcoin. So these 30% corrections are part of the game and they often try to retest the 200 day moving average. As you can see on the chart, they always came back to this line. We are now acting above this line. So we could of course see a retest to this line in the next couple of months because it has happened in the previous bull run as well. Just when you look at these charts, always look to the left and on the left, you can see the history and you can see what Bitcoin price has done before and it needs to be obvious that what happened in history can also happen now in the future again in his tweet he always also stated guys selling now at this 13 percent drop would be the same as selling at this red circle on the chart during the last bull run you can compare selling now because of this 13 percent drop to selling at the point before the previous bull run around this red circle. You can see what happened after this red circle. We saw tremendous run up. We saw huge returns on investment. So never sell before a bull run. So this is a really cool chart and a really cool tweet by the Crypto Lark. Thank you for sharing this beautiful chart. And then of course, another bullish chart. If you take a look at this one, also found on Twitter, this chart, if we copy the last bull run to the current moment in price, we could see a Bitcoin price of 10K around September, which would be a pullback if we go up from here and then pull back to the 10K around September. This chart is saying that we will see a 20K price of Bitcoin in March 21. And in August 2021, we will see a Bitcoin price of 100K if it is up to this chart. Again, guys, I'm sharing as much as possible opinions of different TAs so you can create your own opinion on the charts and what is going to happen to the Bitcoin price in the next couple of months, because it is very important to always do your own research, D-Y-O-R. This is what you see in many tweets, D-Y-O-R, do your own research. Never believe what all these people tell you in YouTube videos like I'm doing, but also research everything yourself. So you're very convinced on what you're investing in. And we finally reached the gate of the house, guys. Yes, that is a long, long driveway. If you're mowing the lawn at the beginning of the driveway and you need to pee, you will probably be too late at the toilet. Luckily, they don't have a lawn. And I'm going to bomb you with another beautiful chart. This one, bam. On this chart, you can see the market cap compared with the thermal cap ratio. This chart shows you an indicator that is indicating if we are topping out in the Bitcoin price or not. You can see the yellow line. This is the indicator. And you can see the black line. This is the Bitcoin price. By the way, I need to be a little bit quiet because the kids are still sleeping. It's a Saturday. It's really early. They are always sleeping out on Saturday. Maybe I will wake them for you. So you have a very funny video with screaming children at their father. And my wife is already sitting there sewing the clothes because we don't have money to buy new ones. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> on this chart, you can see this yellow line is still at a very low point. Because if you look to the left on the chart again, you can see how high this yellow line went during the last bull runs. You can see in 2013, the peak of the yellow line, the 2014, the peak of the yellow line. You can see in 2017 and 18, the peak of this yellow line. You can even see a small peak in 2019. And if you compare today's position of the yellow line, we are still even low compared to 2019. We are even 10 times away of the high of 2017. So no, this Bitcoin price we are seeing now is not at its highest point yet because also this thermal cap ratio is saying that Bitcoin is still undervalued. We will see a higher Bitcoin price and as higher we go, you will see this yellow line increase to a peak higher than 2019 and maybe even reach the same level we saw in 2017 and 14. And then this will be the indicator to exchange your Bitcoins again to a stable currency so you can buy Bitcoin back at the dip. Combing my hair through my cap again, like I did in Thailand before. I will just slowly walk around the house you can so you can see how we are sleeping. And I will also show you the camper 
inside where we are sleeping and the rooms where the kids are sleeping. But take it easy, Didi, you still have a few minutes of talking left. So I need to fill up the time by walking through this beautiful garden where we have fresh olive trees, where we have beautiful flowers and where we see all these kinds of animals, birds, lizards and many other stuff you see in Spain. And while I walk with you through this beautiful garden, I can tell you that we also see a huge number of Bitcoin wallets being used on a daily basis. As you can see on this chart, bam, you can see that we have now about 850,000 active Bitcoin wallet addresses. And you can also see we saw a peak into 1 million Bitcoin wallet addresses. This is a huge number of Bitcoin wallet addresses that is being active every day, but it's nothing compared to the 7.5 billion people living on this earth. We still have a huge growth potential when it comes to main adoption in the world because only 1 million addresses are being used daily. And to be clear, people like me own multiple Bitcoin wallet addresses. So this is not an indicator of how many people are in Bitcoin at the moment, but just showing you how many active Bitcoin wallet addresses there are at the moment. And like I already shared with you guys, a huge amount of these wallets is in profit because 93% of the bitcoins held are now in profit like you can see on this beautiful table over here with these beautiful green balls you can see that 93 percent of the bitcoin hodlers is in profit and to give you another number there are in total 702 million bitcoin wallet addresses of which 30 million addresses hodl a balance and of which 1 million are actively used so 702 million bitcoin addresses in total 13 million Bitcoin addresses hodl a balance and only 1 million addresses are actively used daily. Do you see this beautiful pool over here? I love this pool. Okay, I want to do a game. If we reach more than 500 thumbs up for this video, so I want to see 500 thumbs up. If you reach 500 thumbs up for this video, I will jump into this pool tomorrow trying to do a double somersault. Even if I need to use a chair or something high, I want to try to do a double somersault. But if you want to see me doing this double somersault, wearing a cap, wearing a Bitcoin chair and all the shit into this pool, I want to see 500 thumbs up on this video today. So smash this thumbs up button and tell all your friends to smash the thumbs up button because you want to see me making this double somersault into this pool tomorrow. And to top it up, if we see 1000 thumbs up, which I have only seen once before on the 10K watch video, which I announced yesterday on Twitter. By the way, if you retweet the tweet I did yesterday, you can still win a free t-shirt, a free Bitcoin t-shirt, because I want to celebrate that I had a 10K video and now already 12K video. So like the tweet and retweet the tweet. And on Sunday evening, I will give away a free t-shirt to one of the people that retweeted and liked that tweet. If we get thousand thumbs up if we get thousand thumbs up today i will not only do a double somersault but i will also throw one of my kids with their clothes on into the pool maybe i will throw in jessa thousand thumbs up and i will throw in jessa wearing her clothes into the pool <laughs> jessa is not awake yet so she doesn't like this humor now in the morning good morning daddy Guys, at the moment of recording this video, Binance US was down. Nobody knows why Binance US is down. Um, I will keep you up to date about this situation because it's very strange that an exchange in the US goes down because it's still holding your Bitcoins. And this is exactly why we always say, not your keys, not your Bitcoins. If you have like, for example, five Bitcoins on your Binance US account now, it's still safe. It's safe, like uh, CZ always is saying, but you cannot reach your money at the moment. This is the same to me that if a bank uh, freezes your money or any other centralized organization freezing your money. So it's not cool that Binance doesn't give you access to the funds at the moment. But we don't know the reason yet. So wait, let's wait patiently to the next tweet of CZ where he is stating why Binance was down in the US. Do you remember I was talking to you about Iran? They had a plan to use power plants for Bitcoin mining, they are now rolling out this plan. They are now giving away thousand licenses 
to Iran power plants to start to mine Bitcoin. Why would they be doing this? Because I think there is a hash war going on in the world. Every country wants to become the biggest Bitcoin miner in the world. We can see the cheapest electricity prices are in Iran, Kuwait, Egypt, Myanmar. These countries lead the world when it comes to cheap electricity. So these countries have a small advantage when it comes to Bitcoin mining. But these low electricity prices are not represented yet in this hashing war because the country with the biggest hashing power at the moment is China, who is responsible for 65% of the total hashing capacity. At the second place, we have the United States, which is responsible for about 7.2% of the hashing power. At the third place, we see Russia, which is responsible for 6.9% of the total hashing capacity. On the fourth place, we can see Kazakhstan, which is also responsible for about 6%. And on the sixth place, we can now see Iran with about 3.8%. I think Iran will increase tremendously in the next couple of years because now these power plants will join the game and they have a shitload of energy to use for Bitcoin mining. I will try to keep you up to date about this hash word now and then in the video on this channel. Do you still remember that I was talking to you about these banks now wanting to be uh, custodial services? Now the biggest South Korean bank is going to join the game. They are going to offer crypto custodial services so you can hodl your bitcoins at a bank in South Korea. I am not a big supporter of these guys as you know but again there are many people not like you and me that are still afraid of crypto and maybe for them this is the first step to get to know crypto like Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum because they can now hodl their Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum probably buy their Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum as well at the bank and hodl it there in a very safe place because most people still think that the banks are safe. One more short news item before I show you where we as a family are sleeping in this house. This item is about the Shitcoins Club. Yes, it officially is named Shitcoins Club. They host all kinds of ATMs all over the world. And all the ATMs they were running in Germany have now been impounded because they didn't have a license to run this ATM. The Shitcoin Club does remind me to this moment in France last year. I will share the video in, in here as well, this one. Reminds me to this video where I went to the shitcoins club to exchange Bitcoin into Euro, but then the alarm started ringing. So I wasn't able to exchange my cryptocurrencies. Even worse, they locked me up behind the gates in this thing. Make sure to watch this fun video if you want to see me being in shock because of this insane alarm going off because I wanted to sell my Bitcoins at the shitcoin club in France. And while I walk you to this beautiful bedroom in this camper van, I will talk to you about sextortion because all the magic happens on that bed. And the magic makes me think about sex. And we just saw this huge scandal in sextortion where again the sad guy sent his Bitcoin to a scammer that told him they had all kinds of private pictures and everything of him. So he sent 0.15 Bitcoin to the scammer, which made the total of amount this scammer earned about 115,000 US dollar by doing this extortion scam. So it's a small scammer, but there are huge scams as well that earn millions of dollars because of all these strange email scams they do in crypto. So please be aware that these scammers are around, they probably don't have your nude pictures and they are probably not going to share them. So never send your Bitcoins to these kind of scam addresses. There are many websites you can Google that show you which addresses belong to the scammers. My wife didn't clean up yet, but you can see that this is the place we are sleeping. It's a very big bed for a camper van. Let's show you now where the kids are sleeping. I need to be a little bit quiet because I think they are still sleeping. So I slowly will walk into the room where Jolie is sleeping. Jessa, are you going to join me? Yeah. Be quiet because your sister is still sleeping. And yes, that is my beautiful mother-in-law. Look how beautiful she is. Now I will show you where Jessa is sleeping and where Juna is sleeping. Is Juna still sleeping? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I will walk you to that place in the house. There is another room over there. 
this room uh, my wife's brother Milan is sleeping it's in a beautiful house they just bought it uh, last year so they are still building and everything and normally the house looks really tidy and cleaned up but because we as a family entered the house you could see what Julie is doing to the room and what Jessa and Juna is doing to the room normally the house is really tight and neat so it is our family that is disrupting this household now so please don't look at the mess we as a family have been creating in this beautiful house please show me the room give me something something good Simba is our cat, we already had in the Netherlands and she found this beautiful place now here at my parents in law so she's staying here while we travel all over the world. Guys that was the video for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of every new video I make. I wish you an amazing day and I want to tell you always to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow or maybe I will skip Sunday and then I will see you Monday again. Bye. Was filled with potential, but I wasted.